One year ago, I made a game combining Frogger with Grapple Hooks, and I have decided to remaster it with the intention of completing it and releasing it as a mobile game. Now, if you don't know what Frogger is, it's basically Frog Avoid Hazards. So the last time I made this game, it took around 3 months to code everything, since I was new to game dev, inexperienced at Unity, and I didn't know C Sharp. Back then, I was carried by the holy trinity, forums, documents, and brackies. Now, one year later, I'm giving myself the opportunity to redeem myself with my newfound knowledge and experience. I started off by making the grapple shoot, latch, and return. Then, I coded the grapple physics. And to finish it off, I put together a random chunk spawner and chunk loader. Here's how it all works. For the grapple hook, imagine this is the player's position, and this is the grapple hook's position. I simply subtract the grapple hook position by the player's position, and then set the player's acceleration to this vector. Doing this means that the further away the player is, the stronger the force is, creating a spring-like effect. The chunk spawner is actually quite simple. If it detects that the player's height is above a certain value, it selects a random chunk and spawns it. And to save space, the chunks far below out of the screen are deleted as you progress. Alright, now that we've got the... Done. What's next? Although coding is incredibly time-consuming and frustrating, it's only a small factor in the finished product. There are many other components to game design, including art, level design, sound effects, music, UI, etc. Furthermore, there are many games that don't have incredibly complex code or logic, and are still great games including Stardew Valley, Undertale, Among Us, Fruit Ninja, etc. I want my game to have simple, fun, arcade-like gameplay similar to Doodle Jump and Frogger. An electronic, jazzy soundtrack inspired by Jetpack Joyride and Mario, and a scrapbook aesthetic for the UI like Persona 5. As for new features, I plan on making a huge array of biomes to provide more variety in the game, including desert, beach, city, snowstorm, and laboratory biomes, each with their own obstacles and quirks. I also plan on adding different characters, each with their own unique abilities and stats. Anyways, that's all for this video. See you next time.